Well, greetings, pinball fans, and welcome to another episode of Alpha Bravo Pinball. Today on the channel, a game that's on loan to me in the garage, Cactus Canyon, the last traditional pinball game from Williams. Let's take a look at the playfield in detail. We'll go over the shots, and then we'll play the game and go over the rules. Let's go. Originally released by Valley Williams in October of 1998, Cactus Canyon is a Western-themed pinball machine, and a significant machine it was indeed. To understand this, let's quickly talk about what was going on at Williams at the time. Facing declining sales year after year, Monster Bash was released in July of 1998. In a last-ditch attempt to save Pinball at Williams, they then went hard at work on their next generation of Pinball, the Pinball 2000 system. They went all out trying to reinvent Pinball, and the result was Revenge from Mars, released in January of 1999, and Star Wars Episode I later that summer. They were remarkable machines with a revolutionary display projection technology, but alas, their effort proved insufficient to company management, and it marked the end of the line for Williams Pinball, closing the division permanently in the fall of 1999. The complete story of Pinball 2000 is for another day, but back to our timeline. This left room for just one more traditional game after Monster Bash, but before Revenge from Mars. You guessed it, it was Cactus Canyon. This is its significance. It was the very last traditional pinball machine ever made by Williams. Cactus Canyon was designed by Tom Copera and Matt Coriale, veterans at Williams having previously served as mechanical and software engineers respectively, it was each their first time leading the design of a game. As a result of its compressed time schedule, the original game was left somewhat unfinished, at least from a software perspective, and the production run was also very short, only 903 units were ever made. Even with these shortcomings though, suffice it to say, it really is a special game, and as a result it has become a collector's item that's not easy to find and quite valuable. Fast forward to today. What we have here in the garage is not an original, but rather a recent remake of the game from Chicago Gaming Company. Much more than just a remake though, they've taken the game to the next level with upgraded sculptures, a beautiful real wood arch, modern LED lighting, and an off-the-charts cool topper, just to name a few things. Looking under the hood reveals a modern electronics system, both in the back box and under the playfield. Unlike prior remakes that seemingly ran the original Williams code unmodified, this is the first remake I've seen that actually changes and improves the original software. We'll talk more about the game rules later, but check out this switch diagnostics mode complete with the switch history log on the right side of the screen. Super cool! With that, let's take a closer look at the playfield, its shots, and what the game has to offer. Tactus Canyon is a two-flipper game, with three ramps and a couple really cool interactive mechanisms. We'll go over the game rules while playing it in a moment, but first, let's look at all the shots from left to right. At the very left, we have the horse loop shot, which will either dump the ball into the pop bumper area at the top left of the game, or swing the ball back all the way back around the flippers via the right orbit. Next to that is the left ramp, which is the whitewater shot. It returns the ball safely to the player on the left flipper. Then we have the mine, which is a neat mechanism that can open and close to reveal a scoop. Unlike many such scoops that return the ball forward to the player, the return of this scoop actually goes behind the mind and returns the ball via the left orbit. The center ramp shot sends the ball to ride down the train track, 
And like the left ramp, it feeds the left flipper cleanly. Next to that is one of the other signature features of this game, the Bart Brother Bash Toy. A really fun shot that makes you jump the ball in the air to bash the Bart Brother right in the face. A ball trough in front of it captures the ball and returns it via the right orbit. Just to the right of that is the marksman shot, the right orbit. Similar to the left orbit, it can either feed the ball into the bop mumpers or let the ball carry around and swing back to the player via the left orbit. And finally, the last main shot on the right is the right ramp, also known as the bank shot. It returns the ball safely to the right flipper. So those are the principal shots on the game, but wait, there's more to shoot at. The game has four stand-up targets, two on each side, just above the slingshots. There's also a beer shot right between the left orbit and left ramp, and take special note, this is the shot that you need to repeatedly hit to get to the really cool topper mode you're going to see later. And finally, another signature of Cactus Canyon, we have four bad guy drop targets that can pop up during play. Keep an eye out for them as they can make a big difference in making progress on the game. I'll also point out a few other key areas to watch out for on the playfield. First, the shoot to collect area, which lets you know when you have a reward available at the Bart Brother Bash Toy. Second, your rank, which appears just below the Cactus Canyon logo on the playfield. It will fill in from left to right as you advance in rank. And lastly, perhaps most importantly, the police badge right above the flippers. Each point on the badge represents a goal you must accomplish to get to the wizard mode of the game, high noon at the OK Corral. How this all comes together in play is, of course, best illustrated by actually playing the game, so let's do just that. You're about to see two games of Cactus Canyon. In the first, I do a lot of talking and walk you through the rules of the game from top to bottom. If you've heard enough of me and would prefer to hear the game itself, then feel free to jump to the second game, in which I do a little less talking and instead try to shoot for a high score. With that said, let's play the game. All right, so here we are in the multi-camera setup. Let's play some Cactus Canyon. We'll check it out the gameplay. Welcome to Cactus Canyon. We'll do a quick uh, rules overview, and then we'll see if we can get a good game in. First thing to notice is the uh, the badge in the middle, uh, which has five points to it. The five points indicate all five goals that you need to accomplish to get to the wizard mode. So Stampede, Showdown, Motherload combos, and Get Bart Brothers. Uh, we'll see some, at least some progress. I can't guarantee getting to the wizard mode uh, on, on camera here. I'm no bow and Karens, but we can certainly see some progress towards some or all of those goals. Uh, Stampede and Showdown, I can typically get in a good game. Motherload is simply the uh, super jackpot and the main multi-ball of the game. Bart Brothers um, is basically just bashing on the Bart Brother character and uh, combos you tend to get during gameplay as well. So maybe we'll do it. So now I'm in a safe poly mode. Uh, there's three different safe poly modes, uh, which are fairly short modes, just a few shots long, but I need to make some ramp shots here. And, or I can drain, and uh, sorry, Polly. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the differences between the Cactus Canyon remake and the original Cactus Canyon. The original game was sort of unfinished with a uh, bare bones modes and uh, completing many of the lanes either didn't do anything or in the case of save poly there's three lanes that have save poly indicated on the original game those all do the same thing but on the remake there's an individual mode for each of them which is pretty cool now i have a bad guy up at the rightmost drop target let's see if i can get him before he goes away or i can make a mine shot and light my lock but yeah, those quick draws when the when the uh, stand-ups pop up, start up, uh, you definitely want to get those. You need four of them to light Showdown, which is one of the, the things that you need to do to get to the wizard mode. All right, so now I'm in another save poly mode. Need the left ramp. Oh, nice save there. Need the left ramp. Oh. The ramp, the ramp shots are hardest to make, of course, when, right when you need them. There you go. All right. Did I save Polly? Uh, Red River Rescue. Yeah, it's cool. There's like three different ones, whereas in the original, it's all just kind of one, one save Polly. Right? 
Alright, I need a gunfight here. And nope, nope, nope. Missed him again. Alright, not doing so well with the drop targets. I am doing well with the lanes. Have several lanes complete already. Uh, the blue, the teal. Um, they all have names, but who can remember? All right, that, is, that is the uh, the horse lane, I'm calling it, the left orbit. Some really cool sound effects in this game with the uh, the different modes. They've added sound and music that did not exist in the original. So nicely completed the original rule set. I think obviously everyone is still curious to see what the brand new rule set will look like. But in the meantime, uh, what's on there is, is, is definitely enhanced compared to the original Williams release. Alright, so now I'm in the sharpshooter mode. This is a rapidly switching goal. I tend to go in that sharpshooter mode, I tend to go for the center ramp. The shot moves fast enough and the center ramp is by far the easiest shot. It's the, the easiest way of completing that mode. There you go, there's a quick draw. Need four of those to start showdown. Um, now once I complete all my lanes, I'm going to start the stampede multiball. I'm only a few shots away on the left orbit. One more shot, I think. Whoa, oh, I got lucky there. That wasn't me. One more shot on that left orbit for the horse mode and a stampede simultaneously, I guess. There's showdown. All right, so showdown, I got enough quick draw bad guys to get showdown. This is the uh, the drop target mode. All the drop targets will pop up. And um, when you get, uh, get all of them, oh, I oh, just missed it. You, what you would have seen is uh, an add ball when you collect all the drop targets. And you can keep doing that. They pop back up, back up. You can repeatedly hit all the drop targets and get out of balls. So you can keep that multi-ball running a really long time, actually. Uh, I did very poorly on it. But I did at least collect my showdown mark on the uh, on the badge there, my goal towards uh, the wizard mode. Even though I did not score very many points in it, good enough for that badge. All right, one more shot for Rydem Cowboy, and potentially Stampede as well. We'll see. Meanwhile, I'm doing this. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm shooting the mine for a multi-ball. I'm shooting the Bart Brothers to make progress on that. You're kind of doing all those things simultaneously. Very similar to uh, Attack from Mars in Medieval. All right, so here's our... I need to look around the camera. <laughs> Topper mode. Using the flipper buttons to move the bad guys. Is this the first game ever in pinball with a wizard mode on the topper? I don't know. It's cool though. It's super cool. Oh, drain with an extra ball lit at the mine. So we're having a pretty decent game here. We're one shot away from uh, completing all our lanes. I definitely want to get that extra ball. Like all right, gunfight. Should I go for extra ball or the drop target? Let's see, I'm gonna go for the drop target. Oh, almost, almost was the enemy. No, 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 danger. There you go, extra ball, nice. All right, now I'm gonna go for that left, left orbit, try to get my right on cowboy. All right, ball one locked for multi-ball. We haven't actually done that multi-ball yet. Did I get it? Yeah, Stampede! And just enough juice to get up to the switch in that lane. Whoa! 
Oh, a mega airball. Well, nope, nope, nope. Is that it? Give me another lock. Nope. Is there still, there's a ball stuck somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> Who knows where it is? It went flying. Oh, it's up behind the hat. All right, so if I hit Bart Brother, maybe <laughs> there's a ball behind the Bart Brother. Maybe if I hit him, I can knock the ball loose. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to drain here and let ball search in shame. Oh, this is cheating. This is a malfunction, folks. I'm cheating. Of course, if I was playing in a tournament right now, I would have to uh, hold the ball on a flipper and have the tournament director come out and get that ball loose, because now I've got basically free jackpots with one ball in play, so... But this ain't a tournament, so I'm gonna try to lock it, knock it loose. I'm not gonna shoot jackpots, because that would be lame. If I could, you know, ball search would, I'm sure would clear it because the hat jumps up and down on that mechanism. Do, do, do. Nope. Do, do, do. Uh, the ball's moving, but... We're getting a really clear listen to the mode song. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna come out of there. All right, well, the only proper thing to do here, I think, is to drain the ball. Whoops! Don't knock the mic. Drain the ball and let ball search clear it. It's kind of lame, kind of lame, but I just have to... There you go, there goes ball search, and there knocks it loose. As predicted, ball search did clear the ball. All right, let's keep going. So, we got Stampede and Showdown. Now I'm gonna work on um, the Barts, and I'm gonna work on the mine. I have two balls locked, one more. There you go, there's multi-ball, gold mine. Kind of an interesting interlude there with that stuck ball, but Back in the action now. Now, you need to collect a certain number of jackpots. I think it's five, after which you'll light the super at... Oh, double drain, double drain. I was saying, you have to hit a certain number of jackpots and it will light the super at the gold mine. Another key difference between the enhanced rules of the remake and the original. In the original, I think it's like one, you shoot one jackpot and then boom, mother load is lit at the gold mine and it's much, much easier to collect that goal. Uh, as, and as you remember, mother load is one of the goals that you have to do to get to the wizard mode. Far easier on the original rule set. Um, too easy, I would say. So I think it's an improvement that they made it uh, like five jackpots instead of one. All right, so now I would need to qualify that multi-ball again in order to earn my badge, but I think what I'm gonna do, where the goal here is kind of just to show you the game. We've seen three of the multi-balls. We're gonna try to get to the last Bart, which is also uh, unique to this enhanced remake rule set, the Bionic Bart. So I have some work to do. Oh! Of course, the shot is hardest to make when you need it, like I was saying. I believe there's an extra ball from it. Oh, there you go. Extra ball at the mine. Nice! I'm gonna need it to get to a uh, bionic part. That's a hit where yes, there we go, Bionic Bart. Oh, 
All right, so now on Bionic Bart, it's a little bit different. Instead of just uh, wh whacking the dude over and over, uh, you need to make some jackpot shots. And after a certain number of jackpot shots, it says one jackpot to Light Bart, you'll Light Bart. So in those, that number increases, of course, as you get further into the mode. Here's a uh, gunfight. Got him. Uh, we haven't really talked about that, but yeah, the gunfights increase your rank. Uh, and your rank basically increases the scoring. It's not like medieval where you need, you know, you need to get to the last rank. Yeah, a lot of these unique modes that they've added to the en enhanced rent rule set are just really well done. Great sound and music. All uh, assets that did not exist in the original software. But there's another extra ball lit at the scoop. But definitely need that. I'm gonna need it. Oh, let's hopefully it stays lit for the next ball here. I'm gonna go straight for that scoop. Oh, stolen, folks. There you go. Can't keep it away from me forever. There's an extra ball. All right, so now we're gonna go back to shooting jackpots. And try to light. Try to light the next shot on Bart. Woo! Warning. I like to do the center ramp first, easiest, safest shot on the game. Of course, there are, oh, there are posts there, right, as I say that. But. One more to light Bart. No! I do have one more ball. Let's see. We're on... Do I want that? No, I think I I think I'm gonna ignore the quick draw and just work on uh, Bionic Bart here. No! <laughs> I think that's it, folks. Yes. Well, there you go. 64 million. Not a great score, but at least we got to see different modes in the game. We got to see Stampede Showdown. We saw a, a gold mine multi ball. Did not get Mother Load, but at least we saw the mode. Uh, get Bart Brothers would have been collected if I had completed Bionic Bart there that you just saw. And the last one was Combo, which I also didn't make, but you just need to make enough combos during the game. Um, that's it. I wasn't that far away from lighting High Noon at the OK Corral, the ultimate wizard mode of the game. I think this gives you enough information to play this game on your own. Uh, when you walk up to it, you'll know what to do. The rule sheet is not that complex. There's, uh, there's only a certain number of things on it. Well, now I have to keep playing to see how you get to High Noon at OK Corral. Come in and take a load off. Gunfight. The Bart target, no problem. I guess I'll just fall down now. Oh, another gunfight. I'll take it. Ready, 
<laughs> ball search. Didn't take me that long. All right, say Polly. There's the right water ramp. And the right ramp. Just need the center ramp. Easy peasy. Help. There you go. You're welcome. You are the greatest. Extra ball is lit. Do, 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 do. Save me. Save me. Save little old me. Oh, that's close. Oh. All right, well, I'll take my extra ball. One bark. All right, gunfight. Backhand to the bark target. Nice. All right, there's Bubba Bart. Topper mode's lit. Quick 
Oh, just barely into the mine. Hurry. Yep. Oh, just in time. Got to add a ball right as I drained. Taking me from one balls to three and continuing the multi-ball. One more target. That one, there you go. All right, now new ball, new targets. New ball, new targets. Keep this one going for a while, you can get some good points. I've never seen a multi ball so just so generous with uh, with add balls. As far as I know, this is the only game that does this. But yeah, you can keep collecting add balls. There must be an adjustment to turn this off, but this is the default. I'm not playing it on cheater settings. I'm playing it on default settings. Oh no! Well, we got a decent one. Let's do our topper mode. Still have, uh, I believe, two balls locked, so that's gold mine multi ball. Yep. Get our mother load. All right, topper. need now is the horsey ramp for stampede or the horsey ramp the horsey orbit it's not a ramp uh, there's another bart extra ball lit out of time. Almost maxed out my ramp too, my rank. Alright, one more shot for Stampede. Tilt. Tilt there, Pelicrum. Shoot again. Alrighty. Extra ball is lit. One more shot for Stampede. And doing all right on the Barts. There's extra ball. There's another 
another ball locked. I still need to get my stampede badge, so or my mother load badge rather, so I need another gold mine multi ball to be able to get it to the wizard mode. I'm gonna start our next Bart though. I'll do another gold mine as fast as I can. There's Bionic Bart. Now, can I stack Stampede with Bionic Bart? We'll find... Oh, no. The lanes are all gone. You cannot. Yeah, something stack in this game, but not everything. Like, Goldmine does, I believe. Because Goldmine is still lit. Oh, bad. Bad flipper handling there. Still gonna definitely try to start gold mine. Alright, Bart is lit. Just gravy points here. With bonus jackpot shots. I really just need him. There you go. More points though. One more jackpot. Do I want to do this or do I want to just work on Bionic Bart? Not sure. Oh, I got it on a sideways glance. Now I'm gonna go for gold mine. There you go. Ball two. Let's see if I can start a gold mine multi ball on top of Bionic Bart. Nope, nope, not enough power. Alright, one more shot for gold mine. Get it on top of Bionic Bart here. Nice! Backhanded for Goldmine! Let's see, am I gonna get a stack or not? I don't know. Nope, I guess not. The lights turned yellow. I guess I'm not terribly surprised they don't stack. Mother load lit. Shoot the with the mother load. Jackpot. Oh, it just won't go. It won't go. Oh no! One more. Ah! Didn't get my motherload batch. I have to do another gold mine multi ball. All right, let's chill. Let's relax here. Hit Bart for fifteen point five million. Wow! So we got the last Bart, and we've got one shot from Stampede, and then literally all I need to do, oh, it's a real shame, there you go, I've got the fourth badge, the only badge I'm missing for the wizard mode is the one that I just was one shot away and failed to collect on the, um, the previous multiball, the goldmine multiball. So we're gonna have to do a third gold mine multi ball to be able to collect our fifth badge. No pressure.
How are we doing on points? 113. Nice. Alright, we need another gold mine. Only way to get that last badge, folks. It's not that many hits. We can do it. I don't know which ball I'm at. I'm on ball three. This is the last ball. No extra balls. Only shot at the wizard mode. Oh, I was so close. All right, as luck lit, just need to keep bashing at that mine. I see, I can make it when I'm not in multi-ball. Fine, there's ball two. All right, we're not far away, folks. It's not over yet. Got a uh, special lit in the outlane, but that's not going to help me. All right, one shot from multi ball. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that was a ball saver. I thought I was dead. All right, go my multi ball. Let's do it. I need some jackpots. I need that mother load. I'm still in the grace period. There you go. Mother load's lit. Need the mine. Get in the mine. Yes! Woohoo! We did it, folks. We got all five badges. All five points of the badge lit. So theoretically, when we're done here, we've got High Noon at OK Corral, which I have never played before. So I don't know. I've never played it before, so I don't know what it's like. I don't know how to start it. All right, it's lit. It's lit, folks. High noon. Yes. Oh, no. It's high noon. I got to shoot some bad guys, apparently, which is the thing, kind of the theme of the game, right? It's obviously a multi-ball. And the drop targets pop, come back at the moment you hit them, apparently. Whoa, flippers died. You win, 20 million. Okay. High new total. Oh, it's one of those modes where it has a finite end. Whoa, look at those points. 50 million. 70. Nice. All right, and then the game starts over, I guess. Well, we did it, folks. 218 million. We made it to the wizard mode. Nice. I think that's it. I'm going to be really mad if my recording failed. It seems to be... seems to be good.
Nice! Those Yeehoos are really cool. Bionic Bar Champ! High Noon Champ! Sorry, Nick. Gonna have to beat that high score. <laughs> Well, with that, folks, I think that's going to do it for our video on Cactus Canyon, the remake from Chicago Gaming. A wonderful, wonderful game. The last game ever made by a traditional pinball machine ever made by Williams back at the end of the 90s. Very, very cool game. Hope you get a chance to play one. They're out there. Go to Pinball Map. Find one. Go put some quarters in it. Go play it. Until next time, folks, please join me again for some more pinball. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you for cleaning up Cactus Canyon.